Welcome back. We have a uh, fantastic video uh, in store for you today. This one is uh, in regards to adding uh, things to your shopping list um, or using your voice. Uh, it also will allow you to see your shopping list uh, when you call out and also remove things from the shopping list, which is uh, um, a feature that's missing with the, uh, the core sentences in uh, Home Assistant. And uh, if, you, if you've noticed, <clears throat> I have a bit of an accent and sometimes my uh, commercial voice assistant doesn't hear uh, what I say quite uh, correct and it's uh, nice to be able to remove things from the uh, from the shopping list using uh, voice. Uh, we do that all the time uh, here, uh, not just because of uh, the way I sound, but also because uh, we may uh, already have something and my wife will let me know and we don't need that and we can remove it with voice. So um, this one will be easy, uh, but I think uh, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I do want to uh, I do want to say a special thanks to uh, user Alewing on uh, Discord. She put a lot of work uh, in uh, in bringing this together, and it's uh, exciting to see uh, developers uh, coming in and uh, making some of these sentences. And I encourage you to uh, to uh, look at the things that you want to do with uh, with View Assist and uh, with Voice, and uh, share that with us. And if you have the skills to uh, modify some of the uh, examples uh, that I've been providing. Uh, that's fantastic and it'd be great if you would share those with us so we could share them with uh, the rest of the community. Okay, so with that out of the way, we'll go to the um, the custom sentences gallery and then we'll go to list management. Um, same as before, we'll import the blueprint. Do know that you do need the, um, the, the list view. I made a, a video on that and I'll have that linked in the description. So uh, be sure you have that installed before you before you install the custom sentence. So we'll click uh, Import Blueprint to Home Assistant. Make sure it has your correct uh, URL instance. Click Open Link. This will ask you if, uh, if you want to import it. Click Preview. It should come up with this. It gives you a little um, a synopsis of what's going on. Press Import Blueprint. There it is. Again, I always say this, but I'll say it again. Uh, we do make uh, updates to these uh, blueprints from time to time and if you want to you can go to Reimport blueprint and it'll pull the latest version and update your uh, automations as well So um, at this point we could just click on the blueprint and as usual we have uh, options that can be selected These options uh, this one uh, has uh, quite a few options um, there's a line for uh, adding uh, the items so you can say a variety of things to to get the um, the item added again if you want to translate this from uh, from English to your language you, you certainly can just be mindful not to change any of these um, uh, special characters these containing uh, uh, braces and uh, uh, square brace uh, square braces the pi the pipe symbol uh, all of these mean things and you want to leave these alone because they are important but you could actually translate uh, the items short of the ones that are in curly braces. These are variables, so do not change uh, these unless you're changing the underlying code. Um, that was a long explanation, but we do have uh, the commands for adding, we have the uh, commands for removing, and we have the commands for showing. Now do know that um, if you decide that you want to change these in the uh, second lines, you cannot leave them blank, otherwise you will get an error. So uh, my advice to you is to, uh, to not change these if you can. Uh, if you do, uh, perhaps um, uh, you can modify uh, these uh, two into, I mean, uh, this one into two so that you can uh, do it. But uh, the default will work fine for most people, especially uh, English speaking uh, folks. As usual, you wanna pick your view assist uh, group. And um, this only has one group, so you would pick that. If you're using the naming convention, this should be uh, fine. Same for the uh, list view. If you created the list view and called it list and you're using the same dashboard uh, as uh, suggested, this will be fine as well. And then uh, pretty much the only variable that you will want to change is your to-do list. Um, so this is the to-do to uh, list uh, shopping instance and you can find that by going to, let me go ahead and open this. You can find out what your uh, shopping list is. If you go to, um, if you click here, well, let's do it differently. If you go to developer tools, states, click on filtered entities and type to do, 
it should give you this um, it should give you this list and you can see uh, this one is my shopping list and we could just click copy ID to clipboard go back to the blueprint delete this and then paste it in as you can see it's the same but yours may be different um, you can choose uh, multiples if you like um, for this one we'll just say save and then it'll say give it a name list management is, is what we call these I'll just call this shopping list now if you had a different list let's say you had a Amazon list um, and it was separate and you wanted to be able to add things to that well you could um, add that to do uh, uh, entity uh, for your uh, to do dot uh, Amazon underscore list here if it existed and you could go and change the text uh, instead of saying grocery and shopping you could just change that to Amazon and when you would and do it for all of them of course and then whenever you called out for this particular um, call you could uh, you could do that for um, have it add to your uh, Amazon list instead I guess what I'm saying is these blueprints can be used over and over again with slight modification to make it do different things you can create an actual to-do list just by changing the way that these things are different you know make it different uh, just the way these things are called and then point to the different list okay so um, at this point we have our uh, we have our list management shopping list in place and the only thing left to do is to demo so if you give me a second I'll switch over to Android and you'll see a demo of how this works all right we're set up on Android before I forget I wanted to mention that um, not only does this uh, this custom sentence work with um, with the home assistant list the default home assistant list but it also works with the uh, any list uh, integration which uh, exposes itself to home assistant as a normal home assistant list and uh, a user did test with uh, Todoist and it worked as well so uh, it may even work with with others just as long as the data is uh, in the normal home assistant uh, formatted uh, list style this uh, this should work for you and interested to hear what you're using uh, down in the comments uh, so that we can um, list that as options uh, as well Okay, so on to the demo. Uh, okay, Nabu, show shopping list. There are five items on your shopping list. They are beefy onion soup mix, baby carrots, log cabin syrup, probiotics, flour. I put the um, I put the tablet in whole mode so that we could stay on the screen, but uh, it will go back to the default uh, screen after you see this. I just wanted to demonstrate a few more things. Uh, okay, Nabu. Add eggs to shopping list. Eggs added to your shopping list. So you can see that um, eggs have been added to the shopping list. Uh, this uh, touch screen is responsive. So if I touch uh, the little check box or anywhere in the uh, field for eggs, um, we can check it off and it will go away. Um, it also has a, a check to make sure things are not that you want to add things twice. Okay, Nabu. Add flour to shopping list. Flour is already in your shopping list. And finally, uh, so we added, uh, we can remove things. Uh, okay, Nabu. Remove flour from shopping list. Flour is not in shopping list. Oh, it misspelled uh, flower, but uh, let's try. Um, okay, Nabu. Remove baby carrots from shopping list. Baby carrots removed from shopping list. Yeah. So again, the um, the accent uh, may have made it uh, made it miss uh, the flower, but um, uh, as you can see, it does work uh, and it does work well. So. That's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I want to ask that you uh, like and subscribe. It really uh, does help uh, the channel get exposure and, and more and more people uh, joining the channel um, on YouTube is uh, getting us more and more uh, users in Discord, which um, is bringing on uh, developers like, uh, like Elwing uh, and other folks who are uh, um, in there helping and uh, developing uh, these additional um, uh, sentences and making uh, view assist uh, even better. So until next time, this is it.